Hey, thanks for tuning to Mad Minds TV. I'm Trey Little. Two weeks left in this semester, which is definitely a plus. Another week of looking at sustainability and innovation. And one of the things about sustainability is it might not be possible without trust. And because of this, seven studies were reviewed and I gravitated toward a study called It was published in 2018, and the authors are, I'm paraphrasing from here, and the reference is below the video. The study starts off discussing stakeholder management and its relationship to successful implementation of a project. And it does this by focusing on the importance of building relationships, trust, and effective communication, because stakeholders can influence the project owners, and the project owners can influence the stakeholders. The study then moves to the literature review, which looks at stakeholders, stakeholder management, and trust. And the study concludes that two conditions need to be met to build relationships and trust, with the first condition being risk management, and the second condition being interdependence. And risk management can be viewed as the project owners making sure the decisions that they make aren't setting the stakeholders up for failure. And interdependence can be viewed as making sure the stakeholders and the project owners' ideas and goals are aligned for successful implementation. But the study does point out that trust dynamics constantly change and it may be important to revalidate that trust through effective communication. The study then moves on to providing a figure one which looks at a conceptual framework for stakeholder management as well as trust. And it provides five constructs, which are perspective, relational, intuitive, integrity, and confidence. And perspective looks at mapping out, classifying, and monitoring the stakeholders. Relational is focused on stakeholder engagement. Intuitive puts the stakeholders involved from day one. Integrity focuses on maintaining trust and credibility throughout the process. And then confidence is all about building results or creating the results you told the stakeholders you were gonna do from the beginning. Study then moves on to the hypothesis, its design, how the data was collected, how it was analyzed, the discussion, and then the conclusion. And to sum it up, stakeholder management is a very complex issue, basically because each construct is going to require a different set of behaviors. And because of this, building and maintaining trust may be difficult. But fortunately, the study does provide behavioral indicators an organization or a person can use to help manage stakeholders as well as their expectation and create relationships as well as build trust. However, this is how I interpreted the study. You do me a favor, read it, and let me know if you interpret it differently than I. Thanks again for tuning in to Mad Minds TV. And as always, stay mad, stay sharp, and be well. Thanks again, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>